everybody welcome back to the football manager 21 let's play series the rise of the gingerbreads where today i'm actually trialing something a little bit different with the video recording to try and hopefully improve these videos and um, make my life a little bit easier as well when i'm recording them i did try in the previous episodes to do the whole different size camera thing um with disastrous results it's so easy for me to forget to actually press the button <laughs> to switch between the two different scenes that I'd set up in OBS with the different size webcam. I'm now using a completely different method for recording this game with the cam, which should enable me to hopefully um, position and move the cam a lot easier in my editing software afterwards, which should be great for all of you guys watching the videos um, as it will make these videos a little bit better and as a result of hopefully making these videos much much better I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button right now if you're watching this video and aren't currently subscribed that way you'll get to see more of these videos of this great game because um, you've done the hard bit you found this video and you're sat here watching it you know you've gone through all the, the search, YouTube searchy stuff to find this video save yourself a few minutes subscribe to the channel enable your notifications then you'll get all the um, new videos delivered straight to you and the best of all is it's completely free also feel free to drop a like on the video as well to show that you know you're enjoying football manager you know if you like football manager hit the like button and uh, you know drop some comments down below let me know what's going on in your particular football manager career who are you managing what leagues are you in? How much success are you having? Because I'll be admit, I'll admit, I'm having quite a nice bit of success just now in the um, league. Played one game off camera, a 6-0 win against Solihull Muirs, in which, unfortunately, or sadly, well, unfortunately, uh, Max Robson got injured, um, and he's going to be out for five weeks. Um, however. We did have one good bit of fortune in the match. Um, which was a record broken um, Where's it gone? More. Kiefer Moore's goal, 22 seconds into the match against Solihull Moors, is a new Grandford Town record for the fastest goal scored in a match. It eclipsed Jurgen Lacadia's previous strike of 27 seconds into the match against Boston United. That is such a shame because I really liked having that record against Boston, having scored the fastest goal ever in a game between Grantham and Boston. I mean, maybe that got that will still remain as the fastest goal ever scored in a game between Grantham and Boston. It's just a shame that Kiefer Moore decided to go and spoil the party by breaking the record for fastest goal in the league. But yeah, we've, we've unfortunately lost Max, which is a bit of a worry because we've got our um, FA Trophy game today, um, which is a little bit um, of a worry. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit crosses early. We're going to do that. We're going to turn off the get stuck in. Because I don't want that. Robson's going to be injured. Right, so this is where we're going to change things up a bit. Robson on there. Uh, Jürgen Lakeda is going to play on there. Dimitri Mitchell is going to have to come in at left back for the suspended Medford Smith. Medford Smith. Um, which means Cameron Green. Well, Carlos Miller is going to come on for Josh McNamara. Uh, no, no, it's Motore. Motore I've got to play. Sorry. Motore, because he's complaining about not playing a lot of games um, at the minute. There's a few players who are looking a little bit jaded and in need of a rest, including Dan Bartlett in the box-to-box -box midfield role where... Um, Oh, you know what? I'm going to give him a rest. I'm going to bring on 
Um, but who else? There's a couple of other players who needed a rest. Because they're starting to look a little bit jaded. You know what? Give Ramay a bit of a break for this game. Not even going to pick him in the squad. Going to give him a complete day off. That's what we want. So, yeah, let's do it. Because it's Curzon and Ashton. We should be capable of beating these guys. Um, we should be able to beat them. I'm hoping. Because they're only Vanarama level. They're, they're actually below us. Let's go. Home tie in the FA Trophy here. So it's all good stuff. That's what we want to see. So yeah, hopefully, like I say, hopefully I'm recording things a little bit better. Um, and there's also some excellent little bits of uh, like features that I can put in. <laughs> some new stuff. Mitchell to Lancaster, Bird, Moore, oh, Shepard. Yeah, losing Max Robertson for five weeks is going to be a tough one to contend with. But hopefully, like I say, bringing Locate um, Motore back into the settle as a left winger might be a good fit for us. Oh, good save from Keeper. Well done there. They did get in behind us a little bit there. Here's more. Smashed into the back of the onion bag. And we're off to a flyer. 1-0. Like I say, our next league match after this is the Weldstone uh, match where we really do need to get revenge on them for our first match of the season defeat and yeah we're hoping to get payback on on Weldstone. it's nearly christmas we're nearly halfway through the season as well you know we've, we've been kicking through the leagues quite quickly this 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 time round obviously at the end of this season there's a lot of big um changes that are going to have to happen at the club if we win the league we're gonna have to turn professional we can't remain semi-pro in league two so that's gonna have a huge huge impact on the club in terms of we're gonna have to start paying people proper contracts and um we might be able to do five day uh, seven day a week training which could be better fish better more beneficial for the players means we are going to have to spend more money though because obviously we're going to have to pay them to be seven day a week players um, same with the staff all the staff are going to be, have to be put onto seven day contracts you know um, plus we've already kind of committed ourselves um, to um, build a new training facilities and new youth academy which is going to be a bit... We may even have to do some stadium upgrades. I don't quite understand how it all works in the League 2. Whether in the Football League we must be all-seater. Because we may not be allowed to have stands. So we may have to get rid of, rip out all the terracing and put in actual seats. Um, whether that means it might just be better for us to build a new stadium or move to a new stadium I don't know we might have to do ground sharing as a possibility whilst we do some upgrades to this stadium who knows things can go quite differently I mean that's just I mean obviously getting a bit carried away there's still half the season to go 
we could completely capitulate and collapse in the second half of the season and, and fail to even get in the playoffs. <laughs> you know? So we don't want to count our chickens too early, but if we were to get promoted, that's a lot of... Um, that's a lot of uh, stuff that's going to have to change at the club for us to uh, be a part of the actual football league proper. Two nil up. Might make some subs now. Right, let's go for. Lacadia's doing all right. He's playing okay. Swapping for Lancaster. Carlos Miller for Motore. Um. A. Charles for Reese Bennett. Make a centre back change there. Give it a go. 2 0 up. I'm not expecting us to lose this match now. I'm not sure if um, Oya Goki and um, Jack Rolls are back from their rest before the Worldstone game. I don't know. It would be nice to have them back and in contention for the World Stone game. Had a goal disallowed more as so we should have won that game 4 0. Yeah, very pleased with the result and the performance, lads. Don't need to say much more than that. Grant from winning FA Trophy. Third round, yes. Fourth round draw tomorrow. Be very nice. So we received 6.35 for winning in the third round. It's not a lot of money, is it? Not a lot of money. Anthony Caution had a good game. He's playing well for York. Hammer Kurz National. We had 1,362 fans in attendance. That's nice. Keep that money coming in. Ryan Finnegan. Play fairly well. I don't think he's terribly happy about playing for FC United. Barrett's fitness concern. Uh, we could suggest resting Bennett. So yeah, let's give uh, let's give uh, Bennett a rest for uh, we'll give him two weeks. And we'll send him on holiday. Yeah, he did very well last game. I praise him. Alaves. Keeping a close eye on you in Locadia. Alaves. They are in the La Liga Smart Bank. So they're actually only in the B League. They're not in like La Liga. 
would he be wanting to go there? And could they afford to pay ten million to sign him? Because I'm not letting him go for anything less than his release clause. I'm not. Definitely not. So let's have a look then. We should be having the is it Mon is the FA Trophy draw on Monday maybe, possibly, and then we've got like I say Worldstone at home just before Christmas, and then I think it's Boxing Day our next game. Under 18s have suffered defeat. Okay. 23s were held to a draw. Let's discuss the issue with Scarlet. He wants to be starting more game. We'll make a promise to him. Uh, we might have to start playing him. Which is a bit of a shame that players are now starting to get a little bit um, upset with their... Normally, because the team's playing well, they're, they're quite happy. You know, they don't want to upset the balance of the team if we're playing well and disrupt the squad. But some players apparently do want to get involved training schedule for the coming weeks I don't really want to do match practice before that game let's just do match tactics it'd be a little bit lighter on the players doing a bit of team bondage before Christmas that's fine we haven't got a game Youth intake preview. We don't have any positional shortages in our future youth intake. There is an attacking midfielder we should keep a very close eye on. We have a forward who could be considered a fine prospect. We have one good young English attacking midfielder from Grantham who has caught the eye. Oh, a local lad. We don't have a great number of players coming through in any single position. The full backs coming up are not the best. Most of our centre backs coming through look like they won't make the grade. Many of the prospective defensive midfielders aren't looking like they'll trouble the first team. Most of the new central midfielders do not look like they'll ever be good enough for the first team. <laughs> the next crop of wild midfielders do not look like great prospects. There are a few good wingers in general. Seems like the wing-backs coming through are probably not up to scratch. Don't expect much from this youth take. Oh. Three youth intakes now. We've not received any good players. Hibernian Chase Campbell. Campbell needs an improved deal. Turns, but there's currently a more appealing option elsewhere. Hmm. Might have to try and make a deal here. Start negotiations. Um, we'll remove that. Move and exclude that. I promise. Um, Right, finalised promises. Right then, negotiate contract. What does he want? We are going to struggle to be able to offer him what he wants. Yeah, we'll persuade his agent.
500 quid of gold. Put a new substitute fee. Pay him a little bit more. He wants a wage rise of 35%. Thirty goals. We'll give you ten k. How's that sound? Can I add any more clauses to that? Can't offer you the money, mate. We cannot offer you the money. We can offer you six million. Hundred quid a game. Walk away. We can't do it. We can't. We can't offer him the wages he wants. is a bit of a shame I hate that when they start to get a little bit um, we got here that's going to benefit from any kind of training We'll add them into that. That should hopefully give some boost to the group in the mentoring side of things. Yeah, so Campbell, we may end up losing him. Right, let's go look at the draw then for the fourth round of the FA Trophy. See who we get. Not County. Hmm, okay. Beaconsfield, Barnet, Emil Hempstead of Boston United, filed. Oh, good old file, Grantham, home tie versus Boreham Wood. Oh, they are not going to like that, are they? <laughs> Boreham Wood aren't going to want to come back to us after the mauling we gave them in the league. Their manager got sacked after that game. Yeah, they're not going to like that, are they? When do these matches take? What weekend do these matches take place, I wonder? Maybe one of these teams. There we go then. So we've seen the draw. We've got Boreham Wood. Would you like? Yes, I would. I've been saying no to that. And I don't want to do that. Um, I want to be saying yes. We don't want any replays. We don't want fixture congestion. So all matches need to be settled. First time of asking. Right then, folks, it's match day. We have got the uh, return fixture against Weldstone at home this time. So let's see if we can't just uh, just turn around some things from the first match and hopefully get the three points back off them. Um, I've also done a few little tweaks. I've ch increased my wage budget a little bit by reducing my transfer budget. I've still got 876000 in the transfer budget, but I doubt we're going to use that. So I'm trying to increase my wages per week. In fact, I might even do that even more. 
Yeah, we'll make it, well, because I want to be able to offer players like Reme in future better contracts. Um, and at the moment, we can't really offer the wages needed to pay for a player. Um, I've also increased my scouting budget as well to try and find some players across the whole of the UK and Ireland now to get all the information on all the players in the UK and Ireland. Uh, because obviously, if we do get promoted, we're going to need to have uh, more players. Right, um, do it. Team selection. I've already picked my team. So Scarlet's obviously having to play. Um, because um, that's a promise we've made to him. Torre's got to play because we've made a promise to him too that he's going to play more games. Um, we've got a bunch of players being rested, including Reese Bennett. Couple of players are on holiday, and obviously Max Robson's still injured. So this is the team we're going with. Let's see if we have a better match against Worldstone today. Then pump the fists! Come on, lads! We need to win this match. Pride is on the line here. I have changed the tactics a little bit as well. I've made us play a little bit wider now as a default in the tactic. And play for set pieces is now a default part of our tactic. And uh, stay on feet is now a default part of our tactic. And we'll try and improve things there by doing that. Hopefully playing a little bit wider we can stretch the play a little bit. Make use of our wide men a bit more. Create the gaps then in the middle for the uh, central players. Who's injured? Oh, what? Potential thigh injury. Okay, well sorry Dane. Show me what you've got. Get out there. Get flipping playing. But yeah, made a promise. He wants to start more games. <coughs> and he gets injured after nine minutes. So I guess he's not going to be starting a lot more games, is he? Hmm. Wrong time of year to be getting injured as well with all the fixtures coming. Oh, Locadia, that was a soft miss. That should have been going in the back of the net. Shepard, soft miss. That should have been going in the back of the net. Squandering chances. This is the type of game that frustrates me. <clears throat> because we're squandering all these chances and then they'll probably have one shot and score and that'll probably be the deciding factor in the match. That'll be the winner. Um, and I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Well done, Jürgen. That was delightful. Indeed. I mean, he's doing well. He's either going to get picked for the national team in Acadia, if he keeps scoring, which will then satisfy him and he'll stop wanting to leave the club or <clears throat> somebody will come in and make a bid for him. <laughs> penalty. Which Reme will put away because he's been on penalty training for the whole season so far. And he don't miss now. Now he, penalty taking is part of his training routine. It, his weekly training routine he doesn't miss penalties <clears throat> and he 
and scored a lot of penalties this season. I'm liking this old style. We're getting our revenge on them. Lifford Smith. Lacadia. In. Goal number two. <clears throat> I'm loving this. We'll see then, January transfer window, whether everyone, anyone comes in for him and anyone tries to sign him. Shepherd, oh, Smith, penalty, <laughs> oh, just run at the defender, oh, <coughs> that was a missed penalty because Lacadia took that, because he was on a hat trick, so he took the penalty instead of Reme. turn that option off in the tactics that the uh, guy on two goals takes penalties I'm not because I would sooner have Rene just take the penalties all the time or our preferred penalty taker whichever is on the pitch <clears throat> our penalty taker with the highest penalty stat attribute um, because otherwise there's a potential that you're going to miss like we did big throw there that was close from Bartlett hit the woodwork Shepard Lacadia Torre, Bartlett, Seaside, Torre, Lancaster, Shepherd. Bit soft, son. Bit soft shooting from there. But here we go. 4 0 at half time. <laughs> I tell you what, Weldstone could be in for a bit of a maul in here. Weldstone could be in for a bit of a mauling. And we've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Medford Smith's going to take it. Medford Smith scores. Second ever goal. I'm surprised he's still taking free kicks because I've removed, I'm sure I removed him from my free kick taking because of the fact he's only ever scored two goals for the club. thought they would have been better options in the shooting department comes Campbell Shepherd finally Shepherd finds the space Reme creating goals and scoring goals Fine work there from the player. Well, there's statistics. Change. Make some changes. Mitchell on for Torre. I don't really want to change the strikers because um, they're having a fairly decent game. I'll bring Mackay on for Doyle. I suppose one. That's it. That's all three changes then. 
that's it. Because, of course, we had Scarlet go off at the beginning of the match, so I can't make any more subs. So even if I wanted to take Campbell or Lacadia off, I can't do it. Which is a bit of a shame. But 6-0. I'm going to take a 6-0 win over Weldstone. Brilliant. Hit the woodwork. Four half chances. Three clear cut chances. Three kicks are still a little bit high, but they are coming down a little bit. As for XG, we completely dominated them this time round. Absolutely dominated. Campbell, man of the match. Perfect. At 1,690 fans in attendance. So again, keeping that gate money coming in. Well, nice to see the attendances have been increasing year on year. We're going to need that in the second division. Six of the best for Grant from Scarlet was injured. Hamstring strain out for four weeks to two months. Carson update, Anthony Carson. Suggest resting Bartlett. Let's put an arm around him. Give complete rest from matches. Right, um, Bartlett and... Gonna rest him for two weeks. That should be good enough for that. Classy Campbell was absolutely on board. How you led the line. Does he not have a relationship with me? It's a good relationship with me, I, I believe. So I'm not going to be too worried about Campbell. He's not fallen out with me because I have failed to offer him a new contract. It seems like his agent was stirring the pot there. I think the agent was trying to be a bit of a scumbag, trying to get money for himself by asking for a new contract. Because again, there's been all this talk about clubs wanting to sign him, but no one's actually made a bid yet. And talk is one thing, but you've got to put up or shut up. And these these clubs, so they're back in training great. So our next game is the Boxing Day match against Wrexham away in the league. That's a tough away match on Boxing Day, all the way to Wales. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the new recording format. Um, and hopefully a little bit more editing to cut out some of the um, lulls in the video where I'm just clicking and waiting for the screen to move on. Like I say, I would appreciate if you could hit that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel as well. Ring the notification bell. It's all free. And, um, you know, why don't do it? You know, I'm providing you an excellent bit of entertainment for free. You know, all I ask in return is... For that subscription subscribe button you know hit it and i will see you all again in the next video of the series so from me see what here in football manager 21 at 
the uh, helm of the gingerbreads. It's goodbye for now, folks. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Cheerio.